Hello! So, today we're going to be doing my D stash, beginnings of D stash. So, yeah. I don't really never know how to start these videos, and I also feel like I've just filmed one of these videos, but then when I looked at my channel, I think it was like three years ago. So, I'm going to show you today, I guess, what my current setup is, what my aims are. This may be a one shot video where I do the whole D stash in one process, it might be two parts, I don't know. But, Hopefully, you can see that I have four IKEA helmets here. Um, so on that moment, we have the first one is China Glaze, an OPI, plus one drawer that's just full of kind of miscellaneous things. The second one is Zoya Essie, uh, Sally Hansen, and other mainstream brands like Barry M, Orly, Color Club. That's in number two. Third helmet is um, nail care, top coats, base coats, all of that in this top drawer here. Then, as you can see, I've got them in a labelling system. So we've got two nine zero drawers. Then it goes A to C, D to F, G. Dolish Polish has got its own drawer at the moment. Um, and then I to L. And we kind of go through the alphabet. Near enough, all of the indie drawers are full. Let's be real. Nearly all of them are full. These last two... Two, I don't think are, but I my goal is really that I need two more indie drawers and I can get them all out and redo my alphabets and create some space. Um, in and also de stash obviously in the process, but I'm only hoping for two more drawers. One will be automatically created when I get rid of this drawer of like what's it got in here? I've got a scrub, I've got my gel lamp. So I'm hoping that I can kind of absorb some of that stuff in other places and then that will create one drawer and then we'll have to through the D-stash, hopefully I get rid of at least a drawer full of polishes. Um, that's the plan. So on the top, hello again, I have at the moment some boxes of things. So some of this can go and I'm thinking that maybe to get a small little storage system on the top here that either my top coats could go in or some of those odd bits could go in because this, this, this is empty. This is it. They're all empty, essentially, other than the um, Orly that you see here. Essentially, all of these boxes are just empty and kind of for display purposes. So we can make some space here. Then in the middle, I do have some polishes that I'm about to do videos on. So that's why this clutter is here. And then I have rack number one of um, polishes to wear. So obviously that won't go anywhere. Those are ones that I need to swatch. You're about to get some really bad angles of me. So on top of the third and fourth one, this is all the polishes that I'm wanting to swatch for videos, like re-swatches. So there's a lot of 9-0. There's some for polish stuff I got I own, so that's there. And then behind them is all my nail art stuff is in here. And then on the top here we have some nail care story. So we have some acetone additives, we have some scrubs, a cream. We have the Zoya Naked Manicure set up. Um, again, with just some display boxes as well at the back. And right on the very end we have my container with it has all of my monthly wears. This is everything I've worn in September already. Um, and then again, another rack of stuff that was just to be swatched. My lovely little Niffler and Neat Leaky Cauldron. And then at the back here we have nail care supplies. We have acetone, we have Zoya Remove, more acetone. Um, so we've got some movement on the top, but on the whole, I don't think there's anything I can really do with this to create more space for nail storage. It's just going to be um, if I can make some more there I am make some more space to get some of the nail care items out of the drawers maybe onto a display or onto a nice looking drawer system or container so yeah let's get into the nitty-gritty of what we have in the drawers and I think what I'm gonna do is pull out drawer by drawer and take you on the journey hopefully the lighting is okay for you um so as mentioned top drawer is OPI. So we're going to start off by going through the OPI. Second drawer is OPI. Third drawer is yeah, OPI in Infinite Shines. Then we have two China Glaze. And this is the drawer at the bottom that's causing me the trouble. I can't even get it open. So it's got just a random mixture of things. So we have a Butter and Scrub from Cuccio. Is this actually? Oh, it's sealed. I'll say, I wonder how scrubby this actually is. That can probably go on the top with the other scrubs. We then have my um, Madame Glam. I can get, I'm not used to feeling this angle. Madame Glam Light. Um, and that also came originally with a US 
plug but I just put the USB into my laptop now if I'm going to use it or straight into a plug but obviously I'm keeping that. My hard drive that needs to go somewhere a lot safer than to put in this drawer. A spa pedicure foot soak. So I do have a spa foot spa somewhere in my house but I don't know where but again this can go somewhere other than this place. I have a hand bath is that what you can call it? Manicure bowl. I don't think I've used that in a really, really long time. Some random papers and some little cards and things. Swatch sticks that I'm probably going to put in, into the D-stash as well if anyone wants to buy them. I stopped doing this with my nails a long, long, long time ago. But I've kept them just in case, I guess. Maybe I'll keep one bag. No, I don't need to keep any bags. I will put these into the D-stash in case anybody wants them. Then we have two lots of acetone-free, non-acetone remover. This looks suspiciously crusty. I don't even know the last time I used it, so I'm probably going to get rid of this one. I think that's the best thing to do. And honestly, am I ever going to use this? I really don't think I'm ever going to use this, but it just seems so wasteful to pour it away. So I'm going to, I know, my friend's little girls will love this. Um, so I will pass that on and re-gift. Acetone. We're going to keep this, but it can go with the rest of the acetone. Two gel polishes. One is black and silver and one is caliente. I've never used either of them, although, shall we quickly open them? When I last... Oh no, that, that's, that's okay. When I last used the plain black one that I had, it was so gloopy I had to throw it away. So these need to go with the lamp somewhere. Ricott cuticle peel. I have used this. I will keep this, but again, it can go up with some of the bigger bottles of removers and items that I have on the top of the helmers. An OPI Avoplex hand cream. Never, ever, ever use this, but I really, really should. Actually, I might put this upstairs. And then the big old label maker. Um, I used to use this all the time and I would label up all my swatch sticks. I presume it still works. She says. It's probably run out of batteries, isn't it? I think this needs new batteries. I'm going to keep this, but I'll probably move it into my stationary like area of my house rather than in with the nail polish because I think I'm don't think I'm ever likely to label anything out here anymore but obviously I'm not going to get rid of it if you are looking for something to go with these swatch sticks that I've just put just out of reach but if you're ever looking for something to go with these this is the Dymo Letra tag and it's in this has got the white one in um but I did previously have where it would be a clear background, but this is the one with white. So you can buy all the different attachments. It's very easy to use. You just type out what you want on there. You can have standard texts. Um, I really recommend if you want a label maker or if you want to label up, specifically label up swatch sticks as well. So that's literally one drawer empty because I can rehome everything. So shall we just call it a day there? I mean, that would be the quick answer, wouldn't it? For some reason, I thought that was going to be really hard to sort through that drawer. This is a weird old lighting. Let's go back around this way. Um, for some reason, I thought that was going to be really hard to sort through that drawer. I don't even know why. Um, so I'm glad that that was easy and I would be able to find homes things. I thought I was going to have tons of like odd stuff that wouldn't go anywhere. So we'll move on because we have lots of time. I've allowed myself half an hour um, to do some de-stashing today. So we'll go through the mainstream drawers um, and see if we can get rid of any. So I'm not entirely sure how's the best to do this. Um, we'll go through ones that I'm normally going to keep. Dipping dots. Just got these. Definitely they're not going anywhere. So there should be six of those. Then I have all of the Grinch collection, I think. Was there eight of them? There was eight of them. Do I want to keep them all just because they have them all? Possibly. The collection that I'm going to keep all of them for, which is the H uh, Hunger Games collection. So I'm going to immediately just pull those out if I find them. So I've just found Harvest Moon, which is from that collection. So they're all going to be staying. Another collection that I did really like was the China Glaze. I did it for Halloween, where it was all black polishes. Um, I'm probably going to keep all of those because I do wear a lot of black nails and I really, really enjoyed them. So that's just two of them from that collection. But I'm presuming that the rest will be in here. Oh, I've lied that. There's another collection that I'm going to keep all of, which is the On Safari collection. So I find it really hard to split up the collections, and I really don't have that many China Glaze anymore. So I'm going to keep all of the On Safari collection as well. We found a casualty. I don't even know if I can revive this. This is Atlantis. It's beautiful. But can you see it's 
it's so thick let me grab the remo the uh, thinner i don't know if i can save that so the thinner i have is the opi one and i've just had this forever um this doesn't happen that often i'm gonna need to do a cleanup as well so it's always really good we've gone into a segue here it's always really good that if you come across these polishes not only to put thinner in them but to also clean and round the tops because although this one is prone to the th thickening because of the type of polish that it is it's also because around the top here has got a bit gross so let me grab some remover and we'll just clean the top so i'm just going to give it a quick shake up and then i'm going to leave it upside down on the top of my helmets and we'll just see how that one settles after a, like a couple of days because i would like to keep this if i can it's funny because I can already sense that I'm just keeping all the nostalgic ones. So this sneak ahead was my one of my first ever um, China Glaze. I love this one. And then what was the other one I just put down there that I've had for a really, really long time? Oh, Treble Maker. Look at that. This one's another great one. Uh, Mustard the Courage. One of the best mustards that mainstream polish has ever done. Zombie Cest. Cannot get rid of that one. No way. Pleather weather. This needs to be shaken up, but this is that really weird drying polish, which is kind of like a leathery, pleathery finish to it. Really strange. This is ready to rave. Look how this has changed. This used to be so much more red than what it is now. That's basically just an orange, but we're still keeping it. So we're going to put everything back in and I'm getting rid of from this first straw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A lot of them, as I mentioned, are from this collection. This is the holiday one, so this is called Haute. Oh, it's like a, that was a couture collection. The Perfect Holler Slay, New Year, New Boo. And also they did this collection that was all nudes. That was an American exclusive. I have got rid of some of them already. I think I'm only keeping two out of the eight of them. Um, they were just fine. There was just it was just a lot of polish. It's a shade that I'm just not going to wear. I'm just not going to grab for these. So we made ourselves a little corner here that is now free. Um, so that's at least a bit of space to grow. I have just I'm actually wearing one today. Worn the Jurassic World polishes so they can all fit in there nicely. So that is a good start. And what am I going to be doing with the polishes that I'm de-stashing? Well, the first thing I always do is show all my friends the polishes and just see if anyone might want them. And then after that, they will possibly go on to um, a Facebook, UK Facebook nail sale page. So hopefully you can still see from this angle, but we're going to go on to the second China Glaze drawer. First of all, I just the caps. And then I've got two here that are from the Rolls collection. They are actually great polishes, but the caps do suck me in. I also have the holographic range that they did, so we're going to keep those. I think there's six of them. Yeah, we're going to keep those ones for sure. And I also have just one left from the textured range they did, which was like a... I don't know, this one's called Sand Dollar Make You Holler. They were all kind of sea themed. I'm going to keep that one because that's the only one they have left. And the rest are just all up for de-stashing, I guess, really. So let's just have a little pick through. We have an actual casualty. This was Glistening Snow. Um, yeah, that, there's nothing I can do with this one. That's way too far gone. Um, I love this polish. It was just like a really dense silver I've, I've used it a lot actually so r.i.p glistening snow i'm just gonna have a quick look at atlantis now we've given it a bit of thinner and um, there's still ways to go but we will keep working on this one this one i ugh, this one's a bit more unique i really would like to like keep that one alive but glistening snow it's gotta go and then there's Fairy Dust and Golden Enchantment, which is other their toppers. Um, they're not unique anymore. I know 9-0 came out with their own version. Then we'll slide in, but I'm probably still going to keep them. I'm going to keep all of this collection as well. This was the one that they brought out for Halloween, which is like an um, alien-inspired collection a couple of years ago. But I really like them all, and they're all quite new. So I'm going to keep all of that collection as well. Pizzazz is another super old one in my collection. Oh my goodness, this is actually in not bad shape at all. I don't know why some of the others have dried up so badly. That one's actually doing pretty well. Uh, 
another dead glitter. I'm, I, and this, this one's probably going to be gone as well. Oh, they're so old. I just don't think I can revive them. No, this. So I don't even think I'm going to be able to get the other one to do. But these two are going to have to go as well, which are be bear, me be merry, be bright, and bells will be blinging. They are not salvageable. So I'm not done very good in that one at all. I'm actually only getting rid of four. Um, and then um, there's going to be three that went to Now Polish Heaven. So not as productive in that one, but still I went over them. I went through them and that's as best as we can get. So let me just put these all back in. I have at one point... Um, as they all clang together. I have at one point had like the paper in to stop them from rolling around, but I, I don't anymore. So maybe that's something that I need to get. I think the reason that I stopped was because people had said that that it can affect the bottles of the, the bottom labels, that like they can get, I don't know, sweaty or something in the, I, mean, I, I don't really understand, but the sliding is a tad annoying. So I think we might be able to do one more in the time window that I've got. So this one has all of my um, infinite shines on one side and then uh, just the regular ones on the, on the other side. These are full, these um, OPI ones, and I've just reviewed the summer collection. So I potentially have some more that need to come in. Although saying that, I think that I'd already decided that I wasn't gonna keep all of the ones from these collections. So. Um, I think I need to find space for maybe six or seven out of the 12 that I'm going to keep. I think I'm going to pass the rest on. Um, so we need to make a little bit of space and some. I have all the Scotland collection in this drawer, so they're going to be staying. I have just got rid of a couple of the Infinite Shines. Um, and I have quite a few of these like dense toppers, which I do like, but they're just so monochromatic. It's like, do I need all three of these? Because I feel like both yes and no at the same time. We also have a liquid sands up here at the back. This is a what, what wizardry is this? I almost couldn't say that there for a sec. So I got rid of three in this drawer, but I think I have made space for the ones that I've just reviewed. Um, so that should be, that's, that's something, isn't it? So that's the end of my day one of this. However, this is very unflattering. You will see me back instantly. What I'm thinking is that if I can make enough space on this side to move all my nail care stuff over, and then I can then have two more indie drawers is what I'm thinking. But again, I'm not really sure how to do it. Or ideally, I kind of need to move both nine zero drawers over, which means I've got to create a whole new empty drawer um, from what I've yet to do. I don't think I'm going to be able to get my OPIs down to two drawers. I just don't think that's going to happen. I do go over the OPIs. I've been over them a lot in the recent years. So I'm just going to really... I will go through the other two drawers. Obviously, that'll be the first thing you see when you come back, when I instantly come back at the end of a second. Um, and then I will go through. But I'm thinking if I can get rid of a chunk of the Zoyas, because I do have three drawers of Zoya, I might be able to get that down to two drawers. And then we can move the 9 zero over. And then I'll have two more drawers to play with for Indies. Um, so we've made good progress and um, I'm signing off but I'll be instantly back. Oh hi, it's the next day. I'm going to do two, the, the OPI drawers basically that are left is what I've decided I'm going to do today. Um, or is there one left? Did I do two? No, there's two left. So we're going to try and go through those now um, and then that might be the end of part one. I'm not 100% sure. If not, I will try and move on. I think the Zoya ones are gonna be really hard to do because I'm gonna have to kind of get all three drawers out at once and compare like how many similar pinks I have, how many similar neutral nails I have. So I'm gonna do the OPI ones first. Is this a nice angle? Maybe. Um, at the start here, I have all the Hello Kitty ones, the original Hello Kitty, oh, no original Hello Kitty ones, so I'm going to keep all 12 of those. Another glitter. I don't think it's a glitter casualty, but some of these super chunky chunky glitters, like, 
need some thinning and some love because they're so this one is when monkeys fly which is i love this top coat so much but it's just so thick and chunky where the glitters are enormous that it's just um really hard to work with but i will keep it anyway so only getting rid of three from this drawer the final opi drawer let's go first two polishes are two icons my boyfriend's girl's walls and um my private jets they're not going anywhere another one for thinning so i'm going to do that right now it's okay but it definitely could be better this is muppets world tour i really really love this polish and i'm just thinking when i was just looking at it like could i get a full manicure out of this and i don't think i could in its current state so we're going to thin it down just a smidge and hope that that helps it last to a little bit longer also keeping all of the Muppets collection. I have all of them, so if it was like a, they should stay together. With some of the older collections, I keep. I want to keep them all, but rather some of the newer ones, I can let some of them go. I don't know how that makes any sense, but it does. So in this one, we are getting rid of five. So I don't know whether I should be moving all the OPIs up and having like one empty drawer because at the moment we essentially have like seven to ten spaces in each drawer but we'll work that out later what i'm going to do now is go over come with me come with me on this journey to the bottom drawer here i think it's what we're going to do next this is all my sally hansons i'm not going to get rid of um let's tilt you down a little bit i'm not going to get rid of any of the sally hansen collaboration shades so i've got all the sally hansen crayolas i've got some with jelly belly um i've got some sour patch kids ones there's one jelly belly ones sour patch kids ones so i'm not going to get rid of any of those because i adore them i do however have a few illamascas and i'm really torn because i feel like i don't know if i'm ever going to wear these again but there's something nostalgic about them maybe i could get rid of like one or two because i have i almost throw them everywhere i have seven i believe yeah i have seven so should we try and get that down a little bit let, let me have a look. I'm going to trim it down to just four. Two of them I'm going to de-sash, but this one, which is called Optimist, hello, um, is one of the ones with the rubberized caps, but the cap is just so sticky, I just wouldn't feel right seeing that on to anyone. It's literally, I don't know if you, know, you can see that, it's literally gross. So I'm going to put that one away, de-sash the two, and now I'm probably going to go wipe my hands. That was grim. Okay, so after that, we you're gonna see there we go zooming on in we have all sad hands i'm gonna keep them we have a few color clubs um so do i need all of these is going to be the next question because i could probably get rid of a few color clubs and also i have some in the color club for my recent hauls that do not have the color club lids so let's do the color clubs so i do have two of the halo hues so i'm definitely going to be keeping those ones um some of these new brand new ones that i got are so bright and fun i'm probably going to be keeping quite a lot of the newer ones that i have there's another older one as well but that's actually a really fun color I'll probably keep that one so three color clubs are going in the d stash we go on to the big sally hansons and i think i'm just going to get rid of all of them i don't think that i need to keep them other than i might keep this topper because that i don't think it's gonna even, can't even focus Ooh, you gonna focus it's really cool i think i'm just gonna keep the topper and then the other four that i have no i've lied there's more oh what's up the back here another one five i think they're all gonna be going I have five from Sesh. Um, I did a video working with a, um, a distributor a long time ago with these. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep any of them. They were all fine polishes, but they're just creams, and I don't need another blue cream, another brown cream. I have plenty, so I'm going to pass on those five. Then you may have noticed I have a load of Twinkle Tea stamping polishes. These are the only stamping polishes that I own, so I am going to keep all of those, um, just because I need... if. I, Although, to be honest, I could probably use the Sally Hansons to um, stamp, but I'm going to keep all of those all beautifully lined up there. 
I also have two from Earthy Nails, which were some recent ones to my collection. So I'm going to be keeping those. And that just leaves us with the Nails Ink ones left in the huge bottles. Some of these are so beautiful. Those are going to be staying. I think probably a lot of these are going to be staying. It might only be this one that I can't, I'm struggling to hold. This one can probably go, which is just a glitter topper. Other than that, I think I'm going to keep the rest of them. They're all really fun colours. So this was a really productive drawer. So we've got all of that space now. In the drawer above, we have a mixture. So it might be quite helpful if I can move some of these down. So let's move on to this one. So in this drawer, we have a ton of Butter London, which is going to be the main focus, I think, of the D-Stash. Then we have Orly everywhere. Um, and then we have Barry M and also some Deborah Littmans. So let's pull out the Barry M to start with. I think I'm going to keep all of these. I haven't had them that long. I did a review video on them and I'm fairly happy with all of the ones that I picked up. So I'm going to just keep all of those. I think it's going to be my initial thoughts. Let's move those out of the way. Now on to Deborah Littman. I do have some in the mini versions. These can probably go, I want to say. Although... So this was the one and only time that I received PR from them, so it does feel like nostalgic in a way. So maybe I'll just keep one or two of them and then pass on the rest, maybe. And yes, they all really need a good shake-up. I also have three little Orly Colour Blasts, and these are the Wonder Woman polishes they did, so I'm going to keep this trio. I'm going to keep all the Deborah Littmans. I only have a small collection, and I do really enjoy all of them that I have. And then from the seven minis, I've stripped it down to four. Again, a really horrible angle. So I'll put, move that down, and I'm thinking I might move those down to the lowest drawer, and maybe there's Orly Colour Blasts. Um, this may maybe do that now. Actually, I thought of something else. At the back, way, way at the back here, I do have some KL polish. I don't know what to do with them at all, so I'm going to keep them. Not that I don't know if I'm ever going to wear them again, but it just feels weird. I don't feel like I could sell them. I don't know. They're, some of them are really nice shades. It's just, you know... We've already spoken about KL Polish on the channel. You know what we're talking about. So I'm going to keep those. I'm going to move these down to the bottom and almost hide them away while I consider my options with what I'm going to do with them. Okay, back up here, let's do our Orly. So a lot of these are relatively new ones from recent collections. So I'm going to keep probably a lot, but at the same time, I do have quite a few nudes um, and some other pinks. So I don't think I need all of them. Isn't it so funny how I clearly have an Orly type? Look at all these like pinks and neon pinks. I don't need these all. I don't. These two definitely are staying. Surfer Dude and Blazing Sunset, 1 million percent. Can the rest go? We'll go down to that. So actually getting rid of quite a few. I'm going to get rid of eight um, Orlies, which is very impressive. So I had a quick change around whilst I was just getting all the Butter Londons out because I have an excessive amount of Butter Londons. So um, I've moved now all the Orly here and then the Barry M and we also have the Deborah Lippmann. I moved the KL all down, but there wasn't enough room. I was just thinking that I didn't have enough room for all the Sally Hansons I know that I have. So I've just we've created a bit more space, we've moved the Deborah limits back up, and then all that it is is to decide between these Butter Londons which ones I'm going to keep. It's going to be really easy for me to want to keep all of these for the names, um, and also some of them, like these ones here, they were in like an accident when they travelled to me, so they've got glitter all over the bottle, so they're not easily ones that I can resell, because they're a bit gross to be honest. So these two are Marbs and Lovely Jubbly. Um, the thing with the Butter London is that they are super lovely formulas but um i just don't know how unique or original they are um so we're gonna i'm gonna play around here for a second and just see how many i can keep okay i think we're done so i'm getting rid of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen butter londons all going into the d stash pile so I think I'm going to leave this video there. I've gone through all of the first Helmer and I think we did some pretty good sorting and then we've done um, three, no, we've done two drawers of the second Helma. Um, so we're now, the next video will be going through Essie's and Zoya's is basically the rest of this Helmer. And then we're going to move on and we'll look through the nail care drawer. Although I have I do try and keep on top of that. The nail care draw, and then we're going to hit up the indies. So this, I think this is going to end up being three parts just because I don't want to make like a whole hour long video. So come back 
Um, hopefully it won't be too long because I'm hoping to get this whole process done then see if anybody wants any of the polishes because um, at the moment I don't even think you want to see the destruction so I have a lot of polishes all over the place so I want to reorganise, get themselves, get the old ones gone, the new ones in so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this coming along sort, look through my collection type video and I'll see you in the next one